Hi, welcome back to Park Parent Pointers. I'm Bree. If you haven't checked out some of my previous videos, I talk all about uh, what to expect for surgery, pre-op, post-op, pain medication, tons of frequently asked questions that I get. Um, that way you can be more informed for your child's surgery. Uh, this is a really special video because today we're going to go into more detail about what to expect for the final stage of surgery post-operatively. So say that your child had to have two separate surgeries. The first surgery was in order to um, straighten his penis. We might have put a graft down. This stage is involved with tubularizing that penis. So I'm sure um, you're wondering what's going to be under the pamper under the pool whenever you come home after surgery. The bandages and tape look very similar to the first stage of surgery. The biggest difference is the catheter. So this catheter, assuming that your kiddo is under the age of seven, will have a straight catheter that's held in with a stitch at the head of his penis without um, a balloon and he won't have a, a, a leg bag. Instead, it'll just go directly into his pamper or his diaper. Bandages um, will come off um, sometimes same day, sometimes within a couple of days. But once those do fall off, go ahead and goop them up with some aquaphor. We want to make sure that um, nothing sticks, it doesn't cause irritation towards him, um, especially within the first couple of days of surgery when things are the most sensitive. I recommend putting um, a good amount of aquaphor onto the lip of the diaper. That way um, you're not having to touch his actual surgery site for the first couple of days. So that's involving the aquaphor. Um, you'll want to do that even if it falls off, you know, say day two or three post-op in regards to the bandages, but you still won't bathe until day five. We just want to make sure that he's not too irritated, not too sensitive. In addition to that, sometimes the catheter can come out a little early, especially if he wants to pull out it or, you know, say he accidentally steps on it in the water, it gets a little slippery. We just want to make sure to avoid any concerns like that. Uh, but of course, if your kiddo's uh, catheter comes out a little early, just call our office, let me know. Obviously, it depends on the day that it comes out. But in addition to that, we want to make sure that um, he's peeing good and we want to make sure that we're following his care postoperatively. So just always give me a call or shoot me an email and let me know. The catheter in this procedure will be in for two weeks. Um, so sometimes parents will um, go back home and have a pediatrician near their home. Go ahead and remove that or you can stick around. Of course, if you're a local patient, stop by the office and I'll take that out for you as well. If you have any questions in regards to activities, uh, post-operative care, I have that in a couple of videos over that I did previously. So go ahead and check that video out. Um, and then additional to that, we also have all of our post-operative paperwork written out. So if you are a local patient, I'll email that to you about a month, uh, two weeks to four weeks before surgery. And if you are an out-of-state or international patient, I'll email that to you as well as hand it to you during the consultation visit the day before surgery. But if you have any specific questions in regards to the second stage, the final stage of surgery, shoot me an email um, or give me a call and I'll be more than happy to help.